Hi everybody, this is Lorenzo from LorenzoCapicard.com and today I want to show you how to make an abstract using the Atom Array in Simo 4D. Let's get started! So here we are in Simo 4D and uh, first of all let's get the new sphere. Right now select sphere and leave the default settings. Right then. Let's go ahead and let's go to the reformer tab and uh, let's create a new displacer. Right now, select displacer and drag and drop into the sphere object. Then select displacer and uh, let's go to the shading tab, shader. I will choose surfaces and you can select water. <coughs> then select water and uh, Let's go to the object tab. We can leave strength like 100% and increase height like 100 centimeters. Like this. Alright, so. Alright. If you like, we can create a sub, uh, subdivision surface. Then select sphere and make us a child of the subdivision surface object. Done. So subdivision surface and let's create a new atom array. Right again, select subdivision surface and drag and drop into the atom array object. Right, so select atom array. Uh, sorry, first of all, select subdivision surface, then atom array. In this case, you can choose the cylinder radius, for example, light 0.25. And the sphere radius like 1.25. Alright. If you like, we can increase subdivisions. In this case, we leave 8, for example. Alright. Now, double click and let's create a new material. So, Uncheck color and check on luminance. I'll switch on luminance. Then let's go to the texture, select the layer, then click on layer and uh, select shader. And in this case, I will choose uh, Fresnel, first material. All right now, select Fresnel, uh, select gradient like light blue. In, I will choose light blue for example. Drag a little bit. Increase the blue line, for example. Then let's go to the shader again. Uh, you can add the new Fresnel again. Put a second object. In this case, select white, drag a little bit the white space. Alright, now let's go back and select the first Fresnel, and uh, we can choose overlay. Then switch on transparency and switch on additive mode. All right, now finally we can switch on glow. In this case, we can uh, select outer strength, for example, 95% and radius like 7 centimeters. If you like, we can change the inner strength like. Uh, 80 percent. All right. Or eighty-five. All right. So now we can add the material on the atom array object. Alright, now we can animate the scene. Uh, if you like, we can increase the timeline seconds or frames, for example, like 
300 frames or uh, 10 seconds. Right then, we can add the new light. In this case, let the light. Then let's go to the type. Uh, for example, let's choose Omni shadow like. Uh, Would you like we can add shadow and visible like like volumetric volumetric light all right now uh, i will choose color for example light blue so make some adjustment and then all right perfect and uh, right now finally let's go to the render settings and uh, we can select optute like film video and hdtv Then select frame range or frames and let's go to save. You can select your file path and format like QuickTime Movie or AV Movie. All right, then there are settings we can leave the default settings and all right. All right, that's all. Thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe for more tutorial like this.